A conversation between TSP and ChatGPT. Has gravity actually been proven? Yes. Gravity has been extensively studied and its effects have been observed and measured for centuries. Gravity is a fundamental force of nature that causes all objects with mass to be attracted to each other. The concept of gravity was famously formalized by Sir Isaac Newton in the 17th century with his law of universal gravitation, which described how masses attract each other with a force proportional to their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Since then, numerous experiments and observations have provided strong evidence for the existence of gravity and its effects. Some key points of evidence include Falling objects Everyday observations of objects falling to the ground due to gravity's pull. Planetary orbits Newton's law of gravitation accurately describes the orbits of planets and other celestial bodies in the solar system. Tidal effects The gravitational interactions between the Moon, Earth, and the Sun result in tides in Earth's oceans. Gravitational lensing the bending of light around massive objects, such as galaxies, due to the gravitational field, as predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Time dilation. The phenomenon of time dilation near massive objects, as demonstrated by atomic clocks placed on Earth and satellites. Gravitational waves. The direct detection of gravitational waves, ripples in space-time, resulting from the collision of massive objects, such as black holes or neutron stars. Spacecraft trajectories. The accurate prediction and control of spacecraft trajectories using the principles of gravitational attraction. General relativity. Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, which provides a more accurate and comprehensive explanation of gravity and has been confirmed through numerous experiments and observations. Overall, the cumulative evidence from these and other observations strongly supports the existence of gravity as a fundamental force of nature. What about quantum gravity? Quantum gravity is a theoretical framework that aims to reconcile the principles of quantum mechanics, which govern the behavior of particles at the smallest scales, with the theory of general relativity, which describes the force of gravity and the curvature of spacetime due to mass and energy. Quantum gravity seeks to provide a consistent and unified description of the fundamental forces of nature at both the quantum level and the cosmological level. While both quantum mechanics and general relativity have been incredibly successful in their respective domains, they appear to be incompatible when applied to extreme conditions, such as those present in the very early universe or near the centers of black holes. In these situations, both theories break down and produce nonsensical or divergent results. Several approaches to quantum gravity have been proposed, each with its own set of ideas and challenges. Some of the prominent approaches include String theory. String theory suggests that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not point-like particles but rather tiny, vibrating strings. It aims to provide a consistent framework that unifies all fundamental forces, including gravity, within a single theoretical framework. String theory predicts the existence of extra dimensions beyond the familiar three dimensions of space and one dimension of time. Loop quantum gravity. Loop quantum gravity is an approach that quantizes space-time itself, treating it as a discrete network of interconnected loops. This theory aims to provide a description of gravity in terms of discrete, quantized geometric quantities. Causal dynamical triangulations. This is a lattice-based approach that discretizes space-time into simple building blocks, called simplices. It attempts to quantize gravity by summing over different configurations of these building blocks. Asymptotic safety. This approach suggests that gravity might be a safe quantum field theory, meaning that it can be consistently quantized without encountering infinite or divergent quantities. Emergent gravity. Some theories propose that gravity is not a fundamental force but rather emerges from more fundamental quantum processes. Entanglement and other quantum phenomena could give rise to the curvature of spacetime. It's important to note that as of my last knowledge update in September 2021, none of these approaches to quantum gravity has been definitively proven or established as the correct description of the fundamental nature of gravity at the quantum level. Research in this area is ongoing, and scientists are actively working to develop a coherent and consistent theory of quantum gravity that can successfully unite quantum mechanics and general relativity. Can I say that quantum gravity is a most important factor for human beings and other life forms to exist?
It's not accurate to say that quantum gravity is a most important factor for human beings and other life forms to exist. While understanding the fundamental nature of gravity, including its quantum aspects, is certainly important for our understanding of the universe, it's just one piece of the puzzle. Life as we know it relies on a complex interplay of various physical, chemical, and biological processes. The existence of stars to provide heat and light, the formation of elements through nucleosynthesis, the stability of atoms and molecules due to electromagnetic forces, and the intricate biochemical reactions that occur within living organisms are all crucial factors for life to emerge and thrive. Quantum gravity becomes relevant primarily in extreme conditions, such as those encountered near black holes or during the early moments of the universe. While it's an essential area of theoretical physics and cosmology, its direct impact on the existence of everyday life forms like humans is less pronounced compared to other factors. In summary, while quantum gravity is a fascinating and important area of scientific research, it's not a primary or most important factor for the existence of human beings and other life forms on Earth. Life's emergence and sustainability are the result of a multitude of interconnected physical, chemical, and biological processes. My point is that, if the universe didn't come into existence because of the extreme conditions, makes it foremost vitally significant. I understand your point. If the universe didn't come into existence due to the specific conditions that allowed for the emergence of galaxies, stars, planets, and ultimately life, then those conditions, including the fundamental forces like gravity, would indeed be of paramount significance. The delicate balance of these conditions, often referred to as the cosmological constants, or fine-tuning, of the universe, is a topic of deep philosophical and scientific inquiry. The idea of the universe's conditions being finely tuned to allow for life is one perspective within the realm of cosmology and philosophy. Some proponents argue that this fine-tuning suggests the presence of an underlying purpose or design, while others seek explanations within the context of a multiverse hypothesis, the idea that our universe is one of many universes with different conditions, or alternative theories of cosmic origins. However, it's important to note that this is an ongoing and open-ended discussion within the scientific and philosophical communities. While the concept of fine-tuning raises interesting questions about the nature of the universe and its conditions, it hasn't been definitively proven, and alternative explanations and viewpoints are also actively explored. So, while quantum gravity and other fundamental factors certainly play a role in shaping the universe and the conditions that allow for life, the question of whether these factors imply a specific significance or purpose is still a topic of debate and exploration. I believe that the contemporary physicists among the nations see the potential for a cosmic force that could either be used in a destructive way or as a universal source of unlimited energy. It sounds like you're referring to the potential for harnessing powerful forces, possibly related to fundamental physics principles, for either destructive or constructive purposes. This idea touches upon several concepts in theoretical physics and speculative technology, and it's worth exploring some of these aspects. Destructive potential. In the realm of theoretical physics, there are discussions about extreme phenomena like cosmic strings, vacuum decay, or other exotic processes that could have destructive effects on a cosmic scale. While these ideas are intriguing from a scientific perspective, they remain speculative and far from practical application. The ethical and philosophical considerations associated with such power are also a topic of debate. Unlimited energy. Concepts like unlimited energy often relate to discussions about advanced energy sources, including those that might harness the fundamental forces of nature. For instance, some theories propose the idea of zero-point energy or vacuum energy as a potential source of energy. However, the practicality of extracting significant energy from these theoretical sources is currently uncertain, and many technological and engineering challenges would need to be overcome. Advanced technologies. The idea of tapping into cosmic forces for energy or other applications often invokes thoughts of advanced technologies, such as harnessing the power of black holes or other exotic phenomena. While these concepts may capture the imagination, they are currently far beyond our technological capabilities and our current understanding of physics. Ethical considerations. The potential for harnessing powerful cosmic forces raises important ethical and societal questions. As with any powerful technology, 
The responsible and ethical use of such capabilities is a critical consideration. The potential risks and benefits would need to be carefully evaluated. It's important to emphasize that many of these ideas remain speculative and theoretical at this point. While physicists explore the fundamental nature of the universe and the potential implications of their findings, the practical realization of such concepts is often a distant prospect, if it is achievable at all. As our understanding of the universe and technology advances, new possibilities and challenges may emerge, but it's crucial to approach these ideas with careful consideration and a balanced perspective. What is the problem in finding and proving quantum gravity? Finding and proving a theory of quantum gravity is a significant challenge in the field of theoretical physics. Several fundamental obstacles contribute to the difficulty of this endeavor. Scale and energy. Quantum gravity becomes relevant at extremely high energies and small scales, comparable to the Planck scale, 10 carat 35 meters. Current particle accelerators and experimental techniques are not yet capable of reaching these energy levels, making direct experimental verification difficult. Conflict between theories, quantum mechanics and general relativity, which govern gravity, are currently described by separate and incompatible theoretical frameworks. Combining these two theories consistently has proven to be extremely challenging, leading to conceptual and mathematical difficulties. Renormalization problem. In the context of quantum field theories, like those in particle physics, a process called renormalization is used to eliminate infinities and make predictions. However, when trying to apply renormalization to gravity, quantum field theory of gravitons, infinities arise in a way that is more problematic than in other theories. Non-renormalizability. General relativity, which describes gravity classically, is non-renormalizable within the context of standard quantum field theory. This means that when physicists attempt to calculate certain quantities, they encounter infinite results that can't be removed through renormalization techniques. Background independence. General relativity is a theory of spacetime curvature, and it doesn't assume a fixed background structure. However, most quantum field theories are formulated on a fixed background, making it challenging to reconcile the background independence of gravity with the methods used in quantum field theory. String theory's complexity. String theory, a leading candidate for a theory of quantum gravity, introduces additional dimensions and vibrating strings as fundamental building blocks. While string theory offers intriguing possibilities for unifying gravity and quantum mechanics, it's mathematically complex and has multiple variations, making it difficult to confirm or rule out definitively. Lack of experimental data. The extreme conditions where quantum gravity effects become important, such as near black holes or the early universe, are difficult to access and study directly. As a result, experimental data that could guide the development of a theory of quantum gravity is limited. Multiverse and cosmological considerations. Some theories suggest that the observed universe is just one of many possible universes within a multiverse. This introduces further complexity in understanding the fundamental nature of the universe and selecting the correct theory. These challenges underscore the cutting-edge nature of research in the field of quantum gravity. Researchers are exploring various theoretical approaches, including string theory, loop quantum gravity, and other novel ideas, in the quest to find a consistent and predictive theory that unifies quantum mechanics and gravity. While progress has been made, a complete and universally accepted theory of quantum gravity remains an open question in theoretical physics. Thank you for watching and I will be uploading some mind-bending discussions with ChatGPT Artificial Intelligence. Please hit the like button and don't forget to hit the bell icon after you subscribe for our upcoming videos. Have a great and safe rest of your day or night.